Some people say that it's better to ignore problems and just look ahead. But I have a question. Is it really possible to look ahead without overcoming your obstacles? I would like to tell you a story that brought me here to this stage. It's one of the most inspiring things that has ever happened to me. Three years ago, I took part in a program called Odyssey of the Mind. Odyssey of the Mind is an international educational program. Its main purpose is to develop creativity and imaginative problem solving in, in young people. It's designed for students from kindergarten through college. But what's most important, it teaches them to not think of a problem as an obstacle, but as a challenge. I and six other students were chosen to a Odyssey school team. As a team, our task was to solve a long-term problem and also be prepared for spontaneous problems. Our long-term problem required from us to design and build by ourselves a human-powered vehicle and also prepare a special eight-minute show with our own props and our own costumes. We wanted to make something extraordinary, so we came up with an idea of combining a shopping cart and a bicycle. It looked like this. As a team, our task was also to be prepared for spontaneous problems. The content of a spontaneous problem is revealed to the team just before solving it. It could be, for example, create a short and funny advertisement of an insect repellent company and a grocery store. Or, for example, using five sheets of paper, five toothpicks and five straws, build as high structure as you can. We were working hard for five months. Finally, in March, we went to the regional qualifying competition, performed our show, and won the first place. Then we, won, we went to the Polish championships and were the best as well. As a reward, we were awarded, we were invited to the United States to the world finals. You can imagine how excited we were when we heard the news during the closing ceremony. However, one day after arriving into the USA, we were informed by the airline that our props and also our vehicle hadn't yet crossed the Atlantic. We had shipped them a couple days before we went to America, but now the whole cargo was lost somewhere in France, and it seemed that it wouldn't be in America in time. We were really, really worried. Here we were in a foreign country at the world finals for the first time, and our five months of work was gone. There was only one and a half days left till our show. And that was the moment when we decided to not think of this problem as an obstacle, but as a challenge. That was the moment when we decided to rebuild everything. With our motivation at its peak, we started to work. And we soon figured out that many people want to help us. Somebody gave us an old bike. Somebody else brought us tools. Our teams allowed us to take parts from their props because they have already made their show and they were going to destroy them anyway. Finally, next day, about one hour before our show was scheduled, we managed to finish everything. We rebuilt almost everything we had. Finally, we performed our show. The exhibition hall was almost full and the performance went great. For us, it was the biggest success. We managed to overcome an enormous, unexpected problem. A problem that for us was not an obstacle, but a challenge. But it's not the last thing. Out of 60 teams from around the world, we were awarded the fourth place. Fourth place in the world with everything made in one and a half days. During this competition, we once went to a coffee shop to buy something to drink. And when the cashier realized that we are from Poland and we are this particular team 
that tried to rebuild everything in one and a half days. He gave us a discount on coffee just because they were so impressed and just because everybody thought that what we were doing was impossible. For us, the experience from Odyssey of the Mind and the experience from United States is an unforgettable memory. We met amazing people who wanted just to selflessly help others. And this also gave us a perspective on how we see problems. And this perspective will last us for the rest of our lives. And I'd like you to remember and think for a while about three things. First, never give up. Second, always do your best. And third, a problem is not an obstacle, it's a challenge. Thank you.